In football, there are complicated skills. There are complicated tactics. And yet, oftentimes, the best plays are just simple. You're watching All Attack. Lift on a 50-50. When you and a player from the other team are going for the same ball, and you get there just before your opponent, stick your toe underneath the ball, and lift over the incoming challenge. In these types of situations, the defender is coming with so much speed and is so close to you that you really don't have time to cut around them. But if you lift the ball up in the air, then you can avoid pretty much any tackle that the defender throws at you. Or at least the ball will avoid the tackle. Shield the ball out. When a ball is rolling out of bounds, and a player from the other team touched it last, get your body between your opponent and the ball. Then, shield the ball as it goes out of play. Winning your team a goal kick, throw in or corner. To make sure you hold off the defender, bend your knees, keep your center of gravity low, and hold your arms out so that you can feel when a defender is trying to get around the side of you. And one more thing, before you shield the ball, make sure that it's actually going to go out of play. Because if it doesn't, then there's a decent chance that someone might steal the ball. Half volley control. When a ball is coming to you in the air, use the inside of your foot. and hit the ball just after it touches the ground, angling your foot in the direction you want to go. Now, the reason you might control a ball like this, as opposed to controlling it straight out of the air, is that with one touch, this technique allows you to put the ball on the ground and move in the direction you want to go. Whereas, if you were to control the ball straight out of the air, you would first have to control the ball in front of you, then take a second touch to get where you want to go. Box out the defender. When you and a player from the other team are both going for a ball that's dropping, step in front of the defender and use your body to claim the space where the ball is going to land. Then, if you're successful, you can bring the ball down with your feet. Now look, obviously there are many times where you have to jump and try to win the header. But, if you feel like you're in a good position to win the ball, or that the other player isn't expecting the challenge, then you may be able to win the ball without jumping. Follow back passes. When a defender is being hassled by an attacker,
they're more likely to pass the ball back to the goalkeeper without looking. Or to underhit the pass. That's why, if you're a striker, you should be watching for these moments where defenders are under pressure and look like they want to get rid of the ball. Then, when they move to pass the ball back, you can start running in anticipation of a mistake. Also, sometimes you can hide behind another defender so that the passer can't see that you're there. Put the ball out for a corner. When you're defending a cross, and you're not sure what's behind you. Many times the best choice is to simply put the ball out for a corner. See, here's the thing. When you're in your own penalty area, you simply can't afford to let an attacker behind you get the ball. That's just asking to be scored on. So, if you're not totally sure who's there, then you should just take the safe option and put the ball out of play. And yeah, you may have conceded the corner, but at least you didn't immediately concede a goal. Take your space. In a game, sometimes there will be situations where you have the ball, and all the defenders are backing off, leaving lots of space in front of you. In these situations, if you have no clear forward passing options, then you should take the ball and drive into this space. And when you take your space, eventually the defenders are going to have to move to stop you because they can't just let you dribble all the way to goal. And when that happens, it will open up other spaces for your teammates to run into. Although, if no defender does close you down as you near the penalty area, then you can just go ahead and have a shot yourself. All right, everybody, if you liked that video, make sure to leave a thumbs up down below, make sure to subscribe, and make sure to leave a comment about what you want to see next.